this is one of the best offensive schemes in 9 and 24 currently because you can just basically just move the ball you want to uh, from just picking up 10 yards the first downs to throwing for one play touchdowns and being able to run the ball you just have a lot of versatility when it comes to the situation in the Lions playbook but if you're new to the channel make sure to lock in click that subscribe button click that notification bell and we fit a roll and get into this game right now it's your boy, Larry, back at you again with another video. And today, you guys, I'm bringing y'all some more heat out of the Lions play. But we are working out of the tight wide off week. And I'm going to be showing y'all some money, man. So the first play that we're actually going to be working out of in today's video is going to be the flood. We're going to be working this against a cover three first, boys. Y'all know how we do. Uh, what you want to go ahead and do is just put your triangle receiver on a streak route. You want motion over your tight end X. And you want to go ahead and put him on a comeback route. And you want to put circle on a slant block your running back and what you want to do after that boys you want to double team this outside guy to your right and you want to slide protect to the left you do that by clicking your top left bumper and flicking your right stick to the left and this is going to be the setup boys if you have enough time this is going to be a touchdown um reynolds isn't even the fastest guy on the field and as y'all can see he is going to cook cover three for a one play touchdown and now i'm basically just going to be showing y'all how it works against a cover four as well it's going to be the same as that setup and that's the beautiful thing about with these plays a lot of times cover three beaters and cover four beaters work the same they just take a little bit longer so we're going to be working out of the flood again uh working out of a cover four shell cover four drop uh we're just going to do the same as that setup that we did before put triangle iron streak motion out your yeah, x receiver other than after that, boys, you want to go ahead and put your circle receiver on a slant, block your running back, double team this outside guy, and slide protect to your left. So um, this is going to be the setup. Now, if you pay attention with the square receiver, it is going to take a little bit longer for him to clear. But as you can see, you are going to have a lot more time when going up against a cover four. And if I'm able just to wait a little bit longer, this can actually be a touchdown. I'm going to go ahead and run it back just so I can kind of show you guys here. Uh, but if you have plenty of time, usually you are when it comes to a cover four drop, uh, you will kind of see that this will be a touchdown. It's just waiting. And if you have a fast enough receiver, you actually don't have to wait long at all. Reynolds just is slow, basically. Uh, so as y'all can see, it's money. We're not going to go over that. Y'all can see that it works. And now I'm going to be showing y'all a play that basically works against every zone coverage in the game. We are going to be using the play flood. Again, I just love this play. Uh, just going to be working this out of random coverage really quick, random zone. And what you want to go ahead and do is just motion over the square receiver just like this. And you want to put circle and you also want to put X on a streak. And you just want to drag your triangle receiver. Um, you can leave the running back on his route or you can block him or you can do like a route like this or whatever. It's kind of just up to you. But the money read on this play is going to be the square receiver. It's going to be money against every single zone coverage in the game. Nothing is going to cover it unless your opponent is setting his zone drop or he basically goes over there and user uh, that play himself. So if we go ahead and run this back. Just simple adjustment motion over your square receiver. Put your X and circle on street. Put triangle on your drag. You can do whatever with your running back. And you will see that basically this is going to be money. You just wait for him to make that corner. Uh, and then boom, it's going to be money for about probably like 20 to 30 yards he pop. Now the second setup that I like to do with this play I like putting square on a street just like this, and I like putting circle on a zig route and blocking the running back. Now, the first read on this play is going to be circle, boys. That's going to be your first read that you want to be looking for every single time. This little zig route will cook and get you at least 5 to 10 yards a pop, and this will make your opponent basically respect you. So we're going to go ahead and just run it back one more time. As y'all can see, this zig route, if you look, most of the time this junk is going to be open for the most part against zone coverage and um this will make your opponent to start either using it or just starting to play underneath and now i'm going to be showing y'all what makes this play so good um it's going to be this triangle route so this triangle route is basically going to cut zone coverage every single zone coverage just the way corner routes work in madden 24. Uh, as long as you have a street route and a drag route underneath most of the time corner routes just work very well in uh, madden 24. but you'll see as you can see that time it was covered a little bit but even in that situation, we're able to get in front of that pass. Uh, but working against just about any zone coverage, you will have a lot more space than that. It's usually going to be just like this, like how it was on the first play initially. And you you basically be able to cook, man, with that zig route on top of that corner route. And a lot of times, depending on the situation too, you can hit this tight end too uh, for a quick game, just depending on the situation. 
Uh, now moving on boys to the next thing out of this formation that I really like as well is gonna be um what is the play boys it's gonna be the uh flanker spot i like this play a lot the reason being it just works very well against zone coverages so what you want to go ahead and do you just want motion over the square receiver and after you have done that you just want to put a triangle on a streak um i like to put the running back on an option route just like this and basically initially you can throw to the square receiver out the gate and it's going to be about like five to ten yards a pop against a zone coverage um, or you can wait for him to sit on his route, but I like to just throw it to him out the gate because if you have somebody fast enough, you can just kind of just run out the gate with this route just the way it works. But as you can see, it's just like a flat route, but it's a little bit deeper, uh, as y'all can see, and it works pretty consistently. And the thing about this play as well, not only do you have this play uh, that you can go ahead and throw to that uh, that kind of flat comeback route, you also have this X route that gets open a lot of times, just like this too. Uh, that's gonna pick you up a lot of yards usually about a first down at the minimum and it's just this is one of those plays that i really really like the reason being um everything is an option on this play except for triangle and the running back they're kind of just decoy routes if you want to you can block the running back but if you have enough time too you'll see that this circle receiver will basically get open too uh depending on who's right there you may have to high point it but in most uh scenarios that receiver is going to be wide open um, just the way that this play kind of works and operates and um, especially having this running back on this route right here this option route this is gonna hold those linebackers down a little bit more than, as you can see that time we throw a pit there but this is kind of you want to be looking for that flat route first but it's just nice to have that kind of other option with that circle receiver because it is a sneaky good route that you can go ahead and throw at your opponent uh, you just kind of got to get the timing down and kind of if you have plenty of time like if we're able to wait for that to clear it will work a lot better honestly um so moving on really quick boys as well uh, i'm going to be showing y'all uh, how to beat man coverage out of this formation um it's going to be um out of this formation it's going to be the post uh will dagger and i'm also going to be showing you how to play uh beat cover two we got actually going to go over cover two first so post will drag um, working this out of a cover two uh, all you want to really do with this play um, that I really like to do you just want to put square on a streak uh, after that motion over your X tight end put him on a flat route go ahead and put your circle receiver on a slant route uh, I like putting my running back on an M route or you can block him it's totally up to you uh, but the read is going to be this triangle receiver you're just going to wait for him to clear and for any situation like how what happened there as y'all can see he was open but if the play takes a little bit longer than anticipated, let's go ahead and take your yards and throw to that flat route uh, to the X receiver so or X tight end. Uh, so as y'all can see, uh, you just wait for him to clear. And a lot of times he's going to be wide open. You can get this for a big game or a touchdown depending on the situation. It's just that Matthew Stafford, he isn't showing us no love right now. He's not throwing nothing accurate. So uh, that's kind of where we at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and run this back as y'all can see. Kind of just wait for him to clear but as y'all can see if you have somebody fast enough uh it's basically gonna be a touchdown every single time that street route is basically gonna occupy the uh deep safety in a cover two shell now moving on out of a cover one and just showing y'all how it works against a man coverage uh just gonna be using the post wheel drag uh let's go ahead and hop into man coverage so all you want to do with this play boys uh, you want to put your X tight end on a streak route. I like to put triangle on a drag and put circle on a slant and block your running back. So basically, triangle, circle, and square are all man beating routes. Uh, you'll see that triangle is going to cook on the drag route for a big uh, game depending on the speed. It really just depends on the speed of your receivers, how many yards you are actually going to pick up. Uh, so just running this back, same setup. This time, we're going to go ahead and hit the circle receiver. Uh, as you can see, he actually got caught up a little bit and messed up the whole play. Uh, but the circle receiver will basically cook man coverage as well if he gets a nice release. Or if you want to do this setup too, just kind of flip it. But I just typically like doing it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can hit circle this time around. Uh, as you can see, he is beating his guy. It's just that we can't get accurate pass. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you all the deep shot with this play as well that I really like. Uh, it's going to be this square receiver and you'll kind of see that this square receiver will basically consistently beat his guy um as you can see they are bas basically everything that you see on this play except for that street route with a tight end 
it's going to be a man beaten route. It's just uh, a matter of time if you have enough time to get these passes off. So let's see if we can go ahead and get this off circle. You can see it's wide open square. If we have enough time, we can go ahead and fit that in. But that's going to be man coverage a lot of the times too. But like I was saying, Reynolds is just really slow. Uh, if you have anybody with decent speed right there, Reynolds is basically, uh, not Reynolds, but the receiver that you have right there, as long as he has decent speed, uh, that's not going to happen at all. But if you feel like it's a, a little too close for comfort, just go ahead and throw that drag or that slant route. Um, now moving on, boys, I'm going to be showing y'all some other plays out of this formation. Uh, we also have this RPO zone alert Omaha. Uh, now with this play, boys, I don't recommend um, running the ball. Uh, this is if you see your opponent coming out in a lot of zone coverage. This is basically going to cut zone coverage for a free first down. Uh, it's basically going to be an automatic 10 yards when it comes to this play. Uh, kind of just how it operates against our zone coverage. Uh, when it comes to the running play out of it, it's not the greatest, but this is a nice little wrinkle to kind of throw into your offense. Now, getting into some running plays, my favorite running play out of this formation is actually going to be uh, this play right here, the 0-1 trap. This is going to work very good just out at like just against any defense. You kind of just make sure you get to the outside and consistently, I would say you pick up about 5 to 10 yards a pop with this run. You just want to make sure uh, you want to get far to the outside as you can and most of the time you will consistently pick up yards uh, with this play. Uh, but boys, this is going to conclude the video, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Click that notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos. It's your boy, Lur. I love y'all, boys. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. I will catch y'all in the next video. And peace.